I'm pretty sure this is why the hot water heater wasn't working. Here's the old element. It is kind of burned up and here's the new one that I'm about to put in. We're just doing little jobs to get this camper where it's easier to live in and this will be nice because we don't have to um, run the gas on the hot water heater and use less gas, there's less trips to the store. And then the thermostat also looks like this old thermostat on the AC side of the hot water heater was burned out. You can see this little rod here was burned out, probably when the element burned up. Anyway, replacing that and hopefully this thing's gonna be working. I'm so impressed with these things. They're just so simple. And the reason I know that is because I kind of understand them. Make a lunch. All right, it's back together. I've basically taken every component off, um, except for the pressure relief valve, which is um, nothing wrong with that. But the thermostat I took apart and replaced, um, the gas regulator, the heating element, I changed the anode rod, took off all the shielding and put it all back with um, the new AC, power thermostat and the new electrode because that one was just as you can see burned out and s now we're gonna plug the camper back in because of course we had it unplugged so I didn't get shocked turn the gas back on and we're gonna just test it out make sure it all works and hopefully there's nothing else wrong like there's this one switch down here I didn't change the switch or even check out the switch it looks fine all right we'll turn the gas back on Oh, and we filled it with water too. That's how, I think that's probably how the element got burned out. That's the most common way they burn out. There could be something else I'm missing, but if you turn the, the electric element on without water in it, it'll just burn out almost immediately. I've been requested to stir the cabbage. I'm gonna make up this electrical, plug this electrical connection back in. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach in here and turn this on. I don't know if I'll know right away. Hey dude, so I got it all put back together. This was my main helper. He helped out on a lot of this. And we're about to turn it on and see if it works. So this little switch for the AC is hidden here and I turned it on. Oh wait, I forgot, I forgot. I'm gonna turn it back off. I have it shut off and the electrical panel inside as well. Electrical panel, I'm pretty sure, oh yeah. I've got the water heater off, so I'm gonna turn the water heater back on. That was like my double, I just paranoid about getting shocked, so I had it turned off twice. There's something about electricity, and that's why electrical fin electric fences work, like you never forget it when you get shocked. And I've, I've not been shocked real bad, but I have been shocked working with electrical wiring, and it's, um, you never want to do it again. So here we go. Ta-da! Once again, turn it on. and I don't know what I'm really waiting for. Well, we'll find out here soon. So I'm testing the hot water now. Oops, that's cold. I always get it wrong when I'm on the back side of the sink. And we've got some lukewarm water, that's awesome. The gas isn't on, so it's definitely the AC power is heating our water. So I think I fixed it, which I'm really happy about. I've been kind of trying to figure this out for a couple weeks now and finally got all the parts, put them all on. Now it's done. So it's 4.09 and the dumpsters were supposed to be here by two. We have two dumpsters coming out and I'm gonna interject here, um, mustache. Sorry about that. I, I'm gonna get a lot of comments on it. It's not gonna stick around. I've just, I shaved it for a little uh, party Brianna and I went to. We dressed up like 80s prom. Uh, it's this yearly party and that was a ton of fun, but I didn't shave it off So I wore it to work and I wore it. I'm wearing it on the vlog now I don't think I've ever done that either one nothing against a good mustache. It's just not my style. It was kind of a gag no, But here we are the dumpsters are supposed to come you know So some of you might be asking in the back of your minds or you might have asked um, In the comments like what's going on? Where are you at in the project? So there's mold in our house a bunch of our viewers, you guys gave us a ton of money, way more than we needed to get rid of the mold. So we're, we're basically, it's been forever now. I can't tell you how many weeks, but it's been a long time. 
And where are we at? Well, we're in the camper. We're in the RV in our yard. Um, and we have it pretty much set up. I still have two more cold weather jobs to do before the camper is completely ready for like sub-zero temperatures. Um, and those are skirting around the camper and burying a water line, which that won't take too long. Uh, it's, it'll be a couple days. Um, we are turning our attention though to the next stage in the process. And I think we're gonna put one of these dumpsters actually right here by the camper because I have some trash in that barn I'm gonna put in as well as stuff in the house. We're getting two small dumpsters because the price actually was better for the dumpsters, including everything by, by the ton and by the, uh, for the uh, number of yards we got um, in the dumpster. And then we're, I'm gonna try to get them to put one dumpster right here, but they're two hours late. So either they're just running really late or they're not coming today. And the reason this is the next step in the process is because we're moving from a very big box right here into a very small box right here. Plus, there's a bunch of stuff in the house that is, smells like must, it's, it's got mold in it as far as we know and we're, it's going goodbye, like the couch, for example, even the mattresses. It's just a ton, it's a ton of stuff. So we're gonna fill these dumpsters up in no time, send them off, probably switch them out, depending on how much stuff we um, have left. We may switch them out for one or two more. Um, and then there's a few more things to move out of the house to the barn that we're actually storing and to other even more safe environments. But that's just the next stage in the process. Is that them? Oh no, it's just UPS. I, every time I hear a truck, I've been looking out because it's actually hard to get to our house with the GPS, so a lot of people get lost. But I can hear them, and they get lost down here. You learning to ride with a pedal bike? Mm-hmm. You got the balance part down. Get on a little hill. All right, you're on the hill. Rock and roll. Push off. Push on the ground. Push on the ground. Now pedal right down the hill. Go down the hill. Yeah! Nice job, buddy! And honestly, like what we're doing is normal life too because we're still, you know, working. I'm still working as a nurse. Uh, we're homeschooling the kids. Just all the normal stuff we do. We've cut some stuff out to kind of simplify things. But that's busy in and of itself. So in case you're wanting, wondering whether we took the money and ran, and that's a joke. Uh, no, we haven't. So all the money is basically just locked away apart from what we spent on that camper, which we'll get right back. And we're just trying to figure out the very best way to move forward on this project. We're talking to people, um, talking to contractors, talking to friends and saying, hey, well, and I mean, and, our, and banks and everything saying like, what's the very best way to move forward so we can like do the best job possible on this house. And that's what we're up to. And when we pull the trigger on the house, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fast and furious, I hope. That's my, what my hope is. I'm hoping to get a lot of hands on on it. We're just, we've gotta wait until we actually can start. We can't, we, we're not gonna like start it just halfway. We're not gonna gut it before we're ready to actually go, go, go. It's just such an incredibly beautiful afternoon. It rained all morning. It's warm out here. The cold weather is about to hit again. Um, it shouldn't be too bad this go around. We honestly are doing great. <laughs> We're super grateful for, grateful for y'all's help and support in all this, and we're just moving in slowly towards uh, what's gonna be amazing, just a great home base, our house, or a place where we can um, host people, where we can you know, operate at a really high level of efficiency and um, enjoy ourselves every day. So we're really excited about that. We're bracing a little for the cold weather being in the camper, but um, we're getting settled in because we're gonna be in the camper at least a year is my guess. So anyway, thank you to you all. It's been another great day in the homestead and we'll check in soon and kind of let you know what's going on. And I'm just wait, I was just waiting on these dumpsters. I'm like, come on, it's 423. I don't think it's happening. I guess this is this how you learn what companies you work with, right? If you get a, if you get a call, then you know if you don't get a call. Anyway, all that said, y'all have a great uh, rest of your day. Goodbye.